today I'm going to show you how to activate and uh, disable your Windows Defender in Windows 10. First what you want to do, you want to go at the Windows button and then open the settings. When the settings open up, you want to scroll down to Update and Security. And here you choose Windows Defender, of course it's what we're dealing with. So, Windows Defender has three main um, components that you can disable and uh, enable at any time. There is real-time protection and this helps you to stop malware from installing or running on your PC. And then there is cloud-based protection which makes you get uh, better faster protection by sending Microsoft info about potential securities problems Windows Defender finds. And then you have automatic sample submission. This helps make uh, Windows Defender better by sending Microsoft samples so they can uh, improve the antivirus and malware measures. So you have those three options that you can disable at any time or enable at a given time. So what you want to do to disable it, you just move this blue until it turns gray. And when it gives you a prompt that it's off, it will send you a notification to tell you that your real-time protection is off. There it is. So they tell you uh, to turn on the virus protection because you've recently turned it off. You can do the same thing for cloud-based protection. You can turn it off. You can turn it off too. And um, uh, automatic sample submission. You can turn it off too. So with automatic sample submission, if you turn it off, it means that before they send uh, submissions, before they send samples to Microsoft, they'll, be, uh, they'll prompt you to either allow them to go uh, or not. So that's basically it. But um, it says here that for real-time protection, you can turn it off and uh, momentarily, but if you do not turn it on after a given minute, they'll turn it on uh, automatically. So that's how uh, you turn it off. And if you want to turn it on, it's still the same process. You go to the Windows button, you click Settings, and then still on the Settings, you scroll down to Update and Security, Windows Defender on. As simple as that. Now, there is a couple of reasons why people may want to turn off or turn on their Windows, uh, especially the real-time protection. Most of the people download the softwares online and um, they are cracked or, you know, they just want to uh, bypass. Windows usually does not allow you to uh, install such applications on your computer so in case you wanted to download the software and you just want to um, install it as a crack software that's where you will need to turn off your real-time protection and then immediately after installing that software you could go back to turning on your real-time protection your software will work normally but if you do not turn it off before uh, downloading the files to install that software it will download it but it will delete um, uh, the crack file or oh, it may even refuse to download the entire file so that's basically the reason why people may want to turn off uh, the windows especially real-time protection thank you for watching and uh, i'll be back with another video goodbye